Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. Finally, some good news for DevOps and cloud engineers. OpenAI has recently announced their Stargate project. For people who did not follow the news, so Stargate project is a new company which aims to invest 500 billion dollars. Yes, 500 billion dollars over the next four years to build infrastructure. Let's go a step back to understand this better. Many of you might know today OpenAI workloads are run on the Microsoft Azure platform, right? Because they have partnership with Microsoft. Even if you're a startup and if you're using OpenAI APIs, all of your APIs are actually executed on the Microsoft Azure platform. Now, OpenAI feels as they want to scale up, as they want to solve real world problems in the field of pharma, mechanics, robotics, space, the existing infrastructure, especially the existing AI infrastructure is not enough. So they want to scale up this infrastructure and that is where they are starting a new company called Stargate. There are other stakeholders like SoftBank is one of the major stakeholders, Oracle, MGX. So together they are starting this project and initially they are going to invest more than $100 billion and over the next four years, this company is going to invest $500 billion by to build infrastructure. That is, they are going to create multiple data centers across United States. And these data centers will have the servers to run the AI workloads. Now, why is this important? This is important because end of the day, they are data centers, end of the day, they are servers. And these servers have to be maintained. Nobody is going to manage these servers manually. So a lot of infrastructure as code, lot of cloud engineer opportunities. It can be private cloud engineers because it can be a private cloud or it can be a public cloud. We are not very clear at this point, but whether it's private cloud, whether it is public cloud, you need cloud engineers to manage that infrastructure. Now, I'm not making this up. If you feel that, you know, Abhishek, you are making this up, you can actually look at the official announcement that I'm going to show here from OpenAI, this is also posted on x.com. So they promise that over the next few years, in 2025, 26, 27, 28, they are going to create hundreds of thousands of opportunities for software engineers. Now this term might change. So you might be called as DevOps engineer, you might be called as cloud engineer, MLOps engineer, or you might be called as AOps engineer, end of the day, you need operations people to manage all of this infrastructure. You need engineers to code the workloads that are running on this infrastructure, right? Even if you look at the press meet, like it's a, it's a very long press meet, but if you look at the statement from Oracle CEO, which is very, very important and you know, that is something that I've been saying. So Oracle CEO feels that right now we haven't advanced to an extent to solve the problems in pharma. And one of their important things is to address issues in the field of pharma, such as vaccines or to kill the cancerous cells to identify cancer in early stages. And for all that, they are going to invest a lot in AI. So, you know, in the field of pharma, we haven't advanced to an extent, same as in robotics, same as in uh, space, that is external territory. So there is a lot that we need to achieve. Whenever you see AI is going to replace jobs or whenever you feel AI is going to replace jobs, yes, it is going to, but it is only going to replace the traditional e-commerce applications that we are writing, or it might be able to, uh, probably, you know, uh, build the web applications, but AI 
and software engineers whatever you might call it ai engineers software engineers or you might call ml ops engineers devops engineers the roles might change but engineers will work with ai to solve this real world problems such as problems in pharma problems in space problems that we couldn't solved in any particular field now this is what all of you know uh, the statement is about uh, i'll also put the link in the description if you want to go through it completely but end of the day it's a positive sign uh, 2025 26 27 28 they are going to build this infrastructure across united states so more opportunities at least for operations guys right uh, again i'm saying the name doesn't matter devops engineer cloud engineer but operations engineers are going to see a lot of opportunities from what we see in the statement so you know make sure you add that skills to your resume especially if you are in united states it's a good news and when it is good news for united states countries which offer services like india for example a lot of indian companies provide services to the united states product companies right so if the market is in in us is good that means there are going to be a lot of opportunities in the companies that are providing services like india as well so yeah uh, try to spend some time to go through this uh, press statement that i am going to put in the description and if you have any questions related to this especially A lot of people keep asking AI is going to replace jobs. AI is going to, you know, do everything that we are doing. This is something that, you know, that might help you to see a ray of hope. So, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you found it informative. Take care, everyone. See you. Bye bye.